other time in the world where that's been more true than the time you are living in right now. That technology exists right now, and it's called artificial intelligence. All the information that has ever been known is all within AI. I want you guys to be able to use this tool because there's going to be a difference in the future between those that are able to use this technology and those that are not. As an educator, I have to think about what's the world going to be like 10, 15, 20 years from now? And how do I prepare my students for that world? My parents would always reminisce about their childhood in Flint, Michigan in the you know, early 1970s. But in the city of Flint, Michigan, all is excitement. Back then, the automobile industry was the path to a middle-class lifestyle. Everybody's got a Cadillac in the driveway. Everybody's got a nice house. Really kind of living a version of the American dream. My parents had a sixth grade teacher named Miss Blight who told the class one day, all of these jobs that you see are going to be gone. And everyone looked at her like she was absolutely crazy because that's all they'd ever known. By the time I came around, automation had virtually erased the path to the middle class. Miss Blight saw it coming, and what she wanted to do was prepare her students. That's what I'm trying to do. Wow, you guys have used this before already. That's amazing. OK, click log in. Oh. I see that a lot of my students are already using AI. So when it does come up in class, what I'm trying to do is guide them to make sure that they're using it in a way that enhances who they are. If we don't put this technology in the hands of our students, especially our students from less privileged backgrounds, we're just widening the gap between the haves and the have-nots. I was on paternity leave. Um, my daughter had just been born, and one article I saw was that ChatGPT had passed the bar exam. So I decided to just open my computer and try it out for myself. In that moment, I got this vivid premonition of my most brilliant students sitting shoulder to shoulder with their more affluent peers who had been used to this technology and them using it in all sorts of ways to basically shape the world in their image. And my students looking up and saying, wait, is, isn't that cheating? I wanted to do everything that I could to make sure they were prepared for the world that they would enter. It's, a good, it's gonna be a great day. It's a normal day. It's the same story over and over again. Whenever new technology comes around, people get nervous. But then young people show these unique applications for it, and they show what can be done with it. And then before you know it, everybody gets on board. Wealthy and powerful and influential companies in education. AI is the most transformational technology in the history of humankind. And the question isn't, will our kids use it? It's, will we teach them to use it responsibly and effectively?